Good morning. This is Steve from the Whirly Bugger Fly Shop. It's February 23rd, 2022. Standing here in the lower Yakima River Canyon today. You can see the sun is shining, but it is chilly. Right now it's about 15 degrees. We got a uh, major cold snap that's uh, coming through. The whole Pacific Northwest, and you can see what's happened. The water temperature has dropped, and the river has formed slush ice in its slower portions of the river. So that means the water temperature is chilly. We had uh, really good snow. Oh, here comes an eagle. Uh flying up river here so we had really we had one really good dumping of snow here in the valley back in January but you can see all of that is is pretty much gone now from the entire river the only places where you're really gonna find still big snowpack is in the upper county clay Ellum and you know, eastern areas of the river. Some of those boat launches still might be a little tough to get into, especially the one at Ensign. They usually pile a lot of snow in there. So that'll be a while before we get in there. But, you know, folks have been out fishing. Some people, you know, have been finding some success. Some, you know, not so... Not so good, but you got to remember, you know, it's uh, winter. Like I said, it's, you know, it's still February. Daytime temperatures, you know, are really going to dictate. Water temperatures going to dictate how active the trout are going to get. Everybody's kind of anticipating the, you know, the arrival of the squalas. So, you know, that's a great time to fish the river. You know, and everybody, you know, wants to know, hey, what's what's a good time? Well, a good time is when the river is in good condition. So you really have to get knowledgeable and really watch the flow structures of the river and really learn, you know. I know that I've, I've said that a lot to people that watch these videos, but it's super important, especially in the spring. When flow fluctuations can change a lot because of snowpack. So even though our river is controlled by reservoirs, it still has big tributaries that dump large amounts of water into it from snowpack. So learning how to read those graphs is absolutely crucial. And keep in mind, the river is easily weightable at 1,800 cubic feet. So today, definitely up over 1,800 cubic feet, probably in the 2,500, 2,800 cubic feet range. But with this colder weather, the river is going to, it's going to recede and it's going to slow down and drop. It's supposed to be cold all week. So it's a great idea to carry a thermometer with you. Take the water temperature. That'll tell you a lot about where to fish. And what to fish and of course you know great presentations on our river are crucial so keep that in mind okay so here we are again the banks of the river here at Bighorn and like I said uh, earlier you know having a thermometer absolutely crucial Having a good thermometer, you know, like this one, this is a digital thermometer. It's gonna give me a, it's gonna give me a good reading here of what the water temperature is. So 32.2 degrees here. That's gonna fluctuate, of course, between water flow, you know, and depth, but you know, maybe only half a degree or a degree. 
you can see that you know there's ice flowing in the river and keep in mind we start to see adult squalas at about 42 degrees so the river's got to come up about 10 degrees so you know probably going to be you know a couple of weeks before we uh start seeing that but you know that's just a guesstimation you know years you know 30 years of, of fishing on the yakima here so it's all kind of you know just taking the experience and you know putting all the combinations together and a little bit of looking into uh, the crystal ball the good news is friends that spring is on the way all right so if you guys have any questions feel free to uh, give the pro shop a call email us whatever um, we'll let you know that we are going to delete our Facebook page here in the next few weeks so you're not going to find us on that platform any longer uh, you can follow us on YouTube check the website and like I said, call the pro shop for any information that you're going to need. All right, so have a great day. Look forward to seeing all of you this year. Hang in there. Spring is on the way.